What's up, DK Universe? It's your boy Draco, back with another Draco's Journey of Master Ball video. It's um, where I use rental teams to try and reach the Master Ball tier. Today I got another team. Uh, it's got that standard Sun Core with the Venusaur, Charizard, and Torkoal. And then it's also got the Trick Room Core with it, um, with the Ndidi, the Slowbro, and the Regirock. Um, and DD is going to be expanding force, helping hand, follow me, protect, hold, uh, holding safety goggles. Um, and then the slow bro is going to be expanding force, side sh shell sidearm, that's a mouthful, surf trick room. So there's your trick room core. And then Reggie Rock is going to be the one main staple with it. Um, it's also the Reggie Rock also has a weakness policy. So you can activate, self activate your own weakness policy with slow bros surf. So. Basically, what you're gonna to want to do is probably what you're gonna to want to do is use the follow me, um, trick room switch, or hopefully, NTD drops, and you get a free switch in to Torkoal or Reggie Rock, and then you can also self activate. Like I said, um, Torkoal's got the more offensive uh, setup, being protect, Earth Power, Heat Wave, Eruption, um, Venusaur. It's literally the most standard set Venusaur you can have. Um, sleep powder, earth, po earth, sleep powder, earth power, sludge bomb, leaf storm, holding a coba berry, uh, Charizard, same thing, pretty standard Charizard for a sun core. The sun core is literally sun core 101 um, for a sun core. So uh, protect scorching sands, hurricane, heat wave, um, and then it's obviously solar powered life orb to make it hit as hard as possible. So this is the rental code. We're going to jump into some battles um, and see if we can't climb that rank some more. All right, looks like we got an opposing trainer. And they're going to have... It's a pretty decent team. I think our Suncor might be our best. Maybe. I don't want to trick room because it's a stack attack. I think we're going to go with Sun Core. We'll go standard Sun Core. We'll go Turkle. It's not no Weather Ball. I usually run Weather Ball on my Venusaur builds. Especially in a sun court, it turns into a fire move. So we'll go Charizard. This is what you need. Green Punch Stone. Hmm. Venusaur. That's probably bad. Ah, I should have bought him first. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of messed up on that draw. I think. All right. Let's see what we can do with this. Anyways, no point in complaining about it. We picked the Pokemon. So we got a Grim Snarl. And what is that thing? It's a. I can't remember his name, but it is a psychic Pokemon. I know that. Renaclus? Alright. So, Eruption might be the best bet because he's full power right now. Um, being that it's full HP. So, we'll do Eruption. Eruption and scorching sands. I think we got that in time. Oh no, I didn't. Dang it. Oh well. 
so it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna take. Ah, uh, special attack fell. The eruption is going to do some pretty good damage, though. It's gonna proc a berry, which is okay. Now. Oh, thank you for that. So Torkoal is going to be probably moving first here under the trick room. So we're going to go Eruption again. Do we, we couldn't max. Not Charizard. eruption again and then scorching sand we'll go for that actual attack this time instead of, or sucker punch uh, and torque was just gonna take that the eruption is gonna come off ah it's okay future sight such a weird attack we're gonna take that maybe we're gonna put the KO here Charizard's gonna pick up the KO. Alright, who's next? Who's his next power? And that life form. See, I should have brought Reggie Rock. That's why I was thinking about bringing the Reggie Rock because of their troop room. I would have been sitting super pretty. Alright, no big deal. Flash time. So, who's faster under Trick Room? It's G Max Torkoal, and then Heat Wave with Charizard. I think we're faster. He set the trick room up, so we gotta take advantage of it. Um, I think that's our best bet. Is taking advantage of his trick room with Torkoal. Which is what makes Torkoal such a good mod. We bring him in to counter other people's trick rooms easily. Um, with his super slow speed. So I don't know how it works in the trick room when it comes to tiny mics. I think it's the first mod. Faster mon out of the two, but is that the same on the trick room or is it just faster? Find out. Another sucker punch. I think that's all we've really got. Uh, we are gonna move first at Flare right into him. And he's gonna eat it. He's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. It's gonna proc a weakness policy. Okay, okay. As long as he doesn't hit Charizard, which he's going to with the Quake. No? What? And Torkoal's going to fall, but Charizard, I think we're going to trade G-Max for G-Max. Are we? Are we going to get G-Max for G-Max? Because I'm okay with that, then. If I just lost it. <sighs> Let's see. Chilling Eye. Uh, is Chilling Nay. I should say. And ooh, double KO with the Charizard coming in super clutch. That's because he's life orb and he's got that solar power. Wow, Charizard. Is... Charizard is one of my favorite Pokemon. I picked Charizard as my very first Pokemon, or Charmander as my very first Pokemon. Way back in the day when Red first came out, when I first started playing Red, Charmander was my first Pokemon. So. Get Venusaur out. I think Venusaur is our next best bet. He's got the sleep power, so I can try that out. And he's also got he's the other. So, he's got... so I'm just rambling. Oh, where? Okay. So we try. Let's just try sleep powder. Protect. Okay. Which is it's a safe play because he's got that. Uh. Dragon move that hits two people. Right there, Dragon Energy. I don't know if uh, Venusaur is going to hang on to this. 
Oh, Venusaur is gonna hang right on for sure. Solar power. Future sight attack. Oh no! Oh, that's just terrible. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Dang it. Oh. That hurt. Ah. Future Sight. Like I said, it's a weird attack. I totally forgot about it. And that's what you do. You forget about it. Man, I wish I had a fairy move. I just don't think we can do enough damage here. I think we just shoot for a hurricane with a helping hand and see if that's enough just to bring him down. Uh. I think we're gonna be faster, but we're gonna leave this guy running. He's faster than Charizard too. Jeez. Yeah, we lose next turn. Wow, starting off bad. Starting off with that L. All Expanding force. Will. Let's see. Yeah. Oh man, such a fast little dragon Pokemon. Wow, he just cleaned me out that late game. Wow. Future Sight. Definitely saved him on that. If we would have landed that sleep, it would have been a different game. But I brought done anything different, I probably wouldn't have brought him. Um, it was just me second guessing myself right at the end of my time. But you should never really second guess yourself. If you've got a good core, just go with it and see what happens. It's your best bet. It's all just odds if you really come down to it. That's what Pokemon is. I know there's calculations and everything come down come it that are involved in it. But I think it's mostly just odds. And we're just gonna jump right into this battle. So wow. What have we just done? Hmm. So we're gonna do our trick room core here. And we're gonna read Torkoal and Red Rock. Okay. Yeah? Is it? Yes. Can you cancel my trick room? Is that possible? Is it possible for you to cancel out my trip? I don't know. You're my opponent. So Zapdos, Urshifu, Gengar, Sneasel's evolved form. I can't remember the time I had Dragonite and Charizard. I think we're gonna try and rock this this trick room. <clears throat> <clears throat> I really do. I think Trick Room is going to be our bet. Yeah. Trick Room. So if he times out his top four are Zapdos, Urshifu, Gyarados, and the Evolved Form of Sneezer, which I can't remember the top of my head what his name is. Weavile. Something like that. So yeah, it looks like he's going to time out. Oh no. Okay. Maybe he did. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't think he did. Alright, let's see what we can do against Matthew. So, as always, definitely check out the Facebook group, uh, DK Trading Co. over at Facebook. Um, so like I said, it's a, small, I would say that it's a small group, we're really trying to grow. Check it out, join the group, we have lots of things happening. Um, tournaments, we try and do a tournament probably once a month. The tournament's going to happen at the end of this month, it's called EV Games. Um, we just got to battle with the team of Illusions. Um, we're gonna get the quick draw, which is cool. Oh no. No, no, no. Not the quick draw. Okay. So we have to go... Do we have to go this way? We could expand the force trick room. But I 
almost feel like I think that Weavile can fake out. So yeah, we're gonna follow me Trick Room just to play it safe so we get the Trick Room. Up. And if who are you G maxing first turn with a Weavile Urshifu lead? want to do that if you're gonna ask Draco hey Draco oh psychic train <laughs> didn't even have to worry about it always remember that anyways if you're gonna ask me yo Draco would you G max or should you first turn I would probably say no but that's just me then again I'm fairly new to this game when it comes to PvP battling like this uh, online rank battling like this so it's learning experience every video, but we're gonna get that trick room up. We are gonna get that trick room up. Okay. So now, do we just expand the force? Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Let's see. Okay. I think we're just going to expanding force. I'm afraid that it's not going to affect anybody because Urshifu is probably sashed. So we'll do um, not double expanding force, but Psychic Terrain Attack protects again. Wow. So Icicle. Was that Icicle Spear or Icicle Shard? Whatever it was, doesn't work on Psychic Terrain. Oh, it's, yes. There we go. See, that's what I wanted to do. Just take out the Urshifu. I'm not worried about the Weavile because he's not doing much on my terrain. So I might. Bring out Reggie Rock. Might bring out <coughs> Reggie Rock. <coughs> and uh Yeah. So do we follow me? Let's see, hold on. I think we bring out Reggie Rock. And then we drop a rock next turn. Let me do a shell sidearm. Uh, yeah. So we're kind of losing our trick rooms. But that's okay. I think we're going to be able to set it back up. I think he can poison too. Can we get a poison? No. My rolls like that are. I have the worst luck when it comes to like freezes, poisons, all that stuff. The worst. It never happens for me. Alright. Sir, which is gonna do a lot of damage to us, I think. Yeah, let's see what happens. This could end. This could actually lose us the game. Procking my weakness policy, surfing here. But let's see what happens. Because I got Torkoal in the back too. Actually, I'm not too worried about losing Reggie Draco right now. So I can just probably set the trick room if I need to. Maybe. Surf. Okay, it took us down below half, which is not great, but I think we're going to pick up a knockout on Zapdos. Yeah, easily. Easily. Just easily kill Zapdos. So we got that. The Sandstorm is going to kick in, so we're going to get some ship damage on Weavile, which is going to be great. Um, I'm not for sure if we've damaged Weavile yet. Icicle crash into... Ooh, who's it going into? Into Slowbro. Ooh, okay, so we're not going to be able to get the trick room set up, but that's okay. That's okay. 
Because I think we have one more turn on the trick room, and I think we win it in this turn. And then it's GG's. Storm. And that's going to switch the weather. And we do have damage on Weavile, so we don't have to worry about sashes or anything like that. That's what I was saying. I don't know if we have sashes or anything like that. Dragonite. Okay. So we have to damage Dragonite this turn. No matter what. I almost want to. Yeah. And I believe. Who's. Who's. I need to find out who's gonna be. The fast or if he's quicker than the other 70, 22. Okay, so Torko's gonna go first. So we're gonna go Rock Ball, Eruption. And that honestly should clean the game up. That should wipe the board free. Unless he's got some like protects or something. No, no protect. So that's gonna just take Revile out. Yep, it's gonna break any sashes. It's gonna take a focus. It's gonna take his multi skill ability away too. Which is just adds more damage to him. And I think Rock Ball right here is going to clean it out. Oh yeah, Dragonite just drops to that. Okay, a GG to my opponent for sure. That was a good match. Um, but Trick Room, that's the thing with Trick Room. If you can't counter Trick Room or you can't stop Trick Room from coming up, your chances drop dramatically uh, in winning that match. So... That's the ex the difference between these two teams, between last battle and this battle. I think we were able to actually um, get our setup set up, and and I I don't think we played too good on the first battle. We're gonna jump right into the second battle, or to the third battle of the, of the third and final battle of the video. Um, and if you're enjoying the content, please give me a like, hit that big rest uh, subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. I try and do a new video every day. Uh, at least a rank video every day, but I am a dad, stay-at-home dad with three kids, so sometimes it, just get, it does get a little hectic, and I'm just not up to it um, sometimes. So I might miss a day, but usually I have a backup video that I can just throw up there. And I'm also going to be, I was hoping to get it done this weekend, but Father's Day and everything didn't allow that for me to record the video last night. Um, but I'm going to do a, a playthrough of um, S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, S.H.I.E.L.D because uh, I have the copy of Shield and do a play through that. Or the uh, group members over at DK Training, I'll remember to check that group out. Uh, they picked the Pokemon out and we use for the playthrough. So um, I just got to get those Pokemon in the, the game. And then once that's done, I'm going to start doing those videos. I think those videos are going to be a Sunday night drop video because um, I don't plan on doing a ranked battle video on Sunday because Sunday's our family day uh, in my household. So. We don't do any video games or anything like that on Sundays. So I'll probably record those Sunday night and have them dropped Sunday night as well uh, after the family goes to bed because then I can play video games. Anyways, we got our final opponent. And kind of the same as last, the last team we fought. But this team, on the other hand, has a trick room counter. So Zapdos is a problem. Zapdos can be a problem against Charizard. So, what do you got? What do you got, Vino? What do you got, Venusaur? What do you got for some moves? Let me see your moves. What do you got? You got a ground move. No, but that's not going to do anything, too. Let's just go with the Trick Room setup again, because that was cool. Um, and then. If anything, we're still going to be good because our Pokemon that are slow are really, really slow. So you got a base, you got a speed stat, not a base speed, I don't know, I don't know it's all about Regirox base speed. I'm saying a speed stat right now, I think it's 70, which is just ridiculously slow. And Torkoal was like 42. That's like beyond slow. Let me pull up my Pokedex app on my phone and I can actually tell everybody. Speeds. Alright, so the train's gonna go off. So Torkoal's base speed 
sorry. Torkoal's base speed is 20. <laughs> so, that's like crazy. With a max speed of 152, so he's really slow. Minimum speed of 40. Uh, with that level 100, um, with 0 IV, 0 EV first. Alright. Not helping here. Follow me. Trick room. If you have the follow me trick room set up, I always would recommend just doing it to get that trick room set up because it's the main thing you need. They're gonna set up a light screen, that's fine. Um, heat wave. And he avoids. Slow bro avoids. A double avoid. We take zero damage that turn. That's good. That's good. I like the no damage is still taking this coffee's probably against it. Oh yeah. That's cold and gross. Time to switch to a water bottle. Alright. So we got the helping hand. We got the follow me off. Do we just do helping hand? So the lights are to kick my ass right now. Let's do. Yeah, we, we're running out of time. Oh, I should have done it in the Grim Snarl. I, uh, I should have done it in the Grim Snarl, not in Zapdos. That's okay, we're gonna get. Yeah. And he's gotta reflect up. That's okay. So now our damage output is just gonna be pretty slow. Can we get a poison? Can we get a poison? No, we cannot. So I think we turn to trick room left. And three turns to second train. And they got four turns of reflect and three turns of light shift. So they don't have light gray, light, light clay. So we could do... Do we lose in DD this turn? Do we? I guess we could expanding force. What if we expanding force? Yeah, expanding force. Oh no, there's no effect! Shoot! Uh, I didn't... I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's okay. I think we should still pick up the... Okay, we still pick up the KO on Zapdos. Spirit Break from Grim Snarl and doing DD. DD, I really needed you to think that turn. It would have helped me out tremendously. Yeah, I should have... Uh... Okay, so this turn, man, we got two turns of Trick Room left. We're kind of biting ourselves here with the Trick Room. Let me see if I can't protect and DD this turn. We're not making the best advantage of our Trick Room. There should be... Get rid of Roshiku. Yeah. Alright. I know the Grim Snarl, but Spirit Break can definitely knock out Ndidi, which is fine, but. Are you gonna see two giant Grim two giant <laughs> Roshikus in a row? Yes. Yes, we are. There you go, DK Universe. Two giant Urshifus in a row, right when Draco says, why would you G-Max Urshifu? I don't know. Over half damage. And if he does not, if he doesn't spare a break, yeah, okay. That's fine. See, that's perfect. So we're still in Trick Room. Rapid Flow. Is that going to take out? 
Well, bro, it's going to hang on to that. So do we just get Reggie Rock out? Because honestly, unless he guards, Urshifu's gonna drop. Let's do this. Not, I know that's not very effective. Rock ball. Bring back slow bro. No. No 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 no. No. Let's not. Let's just attack. We need to attack. This is our last turn of trick room, and if we 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 we're gonna we waste it we're just, we're just we're gonna lose the game. So I need to try and clear the board right here. Um and then it's my opponent's gonna have one mon left. And it's uh three v one at that point of view. Probably gonna lose. Ah, it doesn't KO him like I wanted it to, but that's fine. Super effective damage, max rock, rock ball. Hopefully, this takes out. No. It does not. And it even got a crit. Spirit Break, okay. G-Max Rapid Flow, does it KO? Oh my god, not. No, it does not! Reggie Rock eats that like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a nice ice cold cup of milk. <laughs> and you activated my weakness policy, which I had in the back of my mind that that was gonna happen, which I'm terrible at saying stuff like that. I'm working on it. So I figured he was going to, um, attack. I don't think we're gonna get the, uh, trick room up if we want. I think we can survive one more. Maybe just expand it for it. Oh no. This do we? Hold on. We, we got no time. We just gotta do this. This probably wasn't the best. Got the flow. Are we gonna be able to eat it? We're gonna eat it again? Oh he's gonna take out slow bro! Okay. You're afraid for the trick room. I I'm done with the trick room, I think. I don't think we can do anything with trick room at this point. I just need to clear Urshifu. Urshifu needs to go away. Urshifu is going to drop with that special defense, with those special attacks and attack boost. Uh, deep, special defense rolls, that's great. So he does not utilize his turns. Oh no, no, that was his final turn. So he did actually. We still have one more turn. And I think it's Grim Snarl versus the world. So, oh no, P2. It does have two Pokemon. That's okay. Uh, what do we do? Trace. Oh, so I can't lower his spot stats. You don't really see Trace that much on P2. You usually see Download. Um, let's see. What do we max? Let me see something like that. No. This doesn't do enough damage. Let's max Quake in the P2 and Rupture. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Try attack. Into Torko. Torko's gonna be able to take that. As long as we don't get any stats. Okay, no, we didn't. <sighs> Reggie Rock's gonna be able to eat that spirit break, no problem. Max Quake is gonna come out. P2 is going to not do a lot of damage, but that's okay. Special defense is going to rise. Both Torkoal and Rock. 
Ruxin's gonna come off. It's gonna KO Grimstar with P2 is gonna hang on. Um Honestly, I don't think my opponent can do much here. I think the output here is it's gonna be coming out. Both my mods is just too much for him. So we're gonna drain punch to get some health back. It's super effective. And I would say eruption, a single power eruption before him, but his health is almost half, so it's not gonna do as much damage as it would if he was full health. Another try attack into Torkoal, and Torkoal's gonna eat that. I think he's hoping for a status condition. This is his best bet. Drain Punch. Man, Porygon 2's defense and special defense is just amazing. Um, and he might still have those light screens up too. Those screens up, I'm not for sure. There was five turns. Oh, P2 is literally hanging on there. From literally, this is just gonna be P2 is hanging on there by the end of his game. And then we'll just heat wave. Call that match. But he's probably gonna cancel. A recover? We're gonna play this game? The recover game? <sighs> yeah, he definitely had to. Even my son is standing here watching the battle. The guy's like, he had to go for recover. My seven year old son called your play, dude. He's seven. Drain punch. We're healing up Reggie Rock real nice though. The heat wave is gonna come through. And that. <laughs> Is gonna end the game. GG to my opponent for sure. Definitely GG to my opponent. Um, but yeah, there we go. We got the winning record for this video. We started off with a loss, but that's okay. We did end up with that winning record, uh, and that's what we want here. So let me jump over and pull this rental code back up. Um, no, I actually do not want to check my opponent's team. Uh, let's see what we got. For our rank, did we go up in the in the? Let's see. Oh, well, we got some. We got some more points. So, like I said, let me jump over and grab the rental code real quick, and then I will pull that up for you guys. All right, guys. Um, all right, all right, TK Universe. This is the rental team that I was just using um, for those two victories. Uh, wasn't a perfect video where we got all three victories, but we did get two. Um, so we got. Two and one, that's a winning vi video for me, and I like that. Unfortunately, we did not get up to the Ultra Ball rank. Um, your boy Draco is struggling real bad to get up and out of that rank. Um, I'll get there eventually. I might not reach Master Ball by the end of Series 9. I'm not for sure when that's switching, but when the next series comes out, we're going to jump right on that. We're definitely going to um, get to that Master Ball tier. Uh, that's my goal. I just want to reach it. Say I reach, I reached it. Um, so if you guys are enjoying these videos, definitely give me a like, give me a subscribe, so you know when uh, DK's videos uh, go live. And like I said, in the next week, hopefully I'm going to be having that playthrough start where we're going to do uh, weekly videos of a sword playthrough. And then I also got challenged to a Pokemon battle by my seven-year-old son. So I'm probably going to make that a video, um, and then I'll put that up. You guys can see me. Uh, fight my seven-year-old son in a knockdown drag out 6v6 brawl um so with that all being said if you guys like i said if you enjoyed the video definitely please leave a like if you're going to subscribe uh, remember check out the dk trading facebook group over at facebook i'll put the link below for the group and i will also put the link below for the video that i got this team from um i don't know how relevant how i don't know if the rental code is still up um but it might be, I rented this team a while back. It's just something I had in the background that I wanted to use. Um, so, and if you have rental teams that you want me to feature on the channel, um, you can get a hold of me over at the DK Trading Facebook group, or you can even just drop it in a comment below. Um, so, remember, just take care of yourself, take care of each other, and peace.